Okay, hello guys. So, Jane, can you tell me the title of our lesson today? Smart technology in our lives. Smart technology in our lives. And David, what do you think smart technology is? Uh, in these pictures, what do you think it could be? It's technology that we can use to do a lot of cool things. Yeah, definitely. What's one cool thing you see on, in these pictures, David? Uh, the tab. The tab. Oh, what do you use your tab for? Oh, who else has a tab right now? Media. We have tabs. Why do we have tabs? Um, I play games on it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and do your homework while you play the games? Sometimes. Ah, sometimes. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a little closer look into our title. So, Ginny, can you read our title one more time, please? Smart technology in our lives. Okay, so we are talking about smart technology. And, Ginny, can you give me one more example of smart technology? Smartphones. Smartphones. Let's write down smartphones above that. So a smartphone. Jenny, how is smartphone t smart technology? I know it says smart in the name, but how is it smart? Uh, it knows where I am. It knows. Ooh, okay. So that is pretty smart. Jane, what's some smart technology you know of? Um, maybe a touch board. A touch board. So not like this board right behind me? How is a touch board different? Oh, very cool. Okay, so we are talking about smart technology, but David, there's one more part of our title. What else are we talking about? Uh, our lives. Our lives. So where is the smart technology we're talking about? In our lives. In our lives. So let's not forget that. I want you guys to put a box around this. So we're going to talk about smart technology where, Jane? In our lives. In our lives. Okay, now we're going to watch a quick video about some smart technology that's out right now. So let's see. David, can you read both questions for me, please? What do people use Google Glass for? What different activities can people use with them? Awesome. Perfect. So now I'm going to put eyes on teacher. I want you guys to flip your tabs face down and let's watch this video together. Let's see. Okay, Glass, record a video. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Okay, so we're going to pause it right there. Jane, what are some things you saw in the video? Um, they're in a hot air balloon. Yeah. Some people are dancing. Yeah. And some people in an airplane. Yeah, but what were they using the Google Glass for in the hot air balloon? They were taking a video. Oh, David, would you want something like that? Uh, yeah. What, what would you use the Google Glass for? I would take videos everywhere I go. Oh, well, okay. So you, what would you take videos of? Uh, my friends. Your friends. Oh, very cool. Ginny, how do you think a teacher could use Google Glass? Uh, maybe they could find a student who's cheating. Ooh, and so they're just kind of walking by and they look at them? Ah, okay, that's a good idea. Jane, how do you think a policeman could use Google Glass? Maybe if they see something bad going on, they could record a video. Very good. And David, how do you think an athlete could use it? I think it would be really cool to see from their Point of view? Yeah, definitely. I think so too. Awesome. So we're going to keep talking about our smart technology in our life. So you guys can go ahead and flip your tabs back over. We're going to look at some ambient characteristics. Do we have any idea what characteristics are? What are characteristics, Jane? Uh, something that tells us Something. something that tells us about something. Good. Okay, so we have this word ambient in front of characteristics, and so we're going to find out what ambient means. But if we already look, characteristics, this is going to tell us about something. Something is embedded. Something is context aware. Something is personalized. Do we know any of these words? David, do you recognize any of those words? Uh, context aware. What is context aware? Uh, that means it knows what or what you're doing or where you are. Ah, very good. So on your guys' smartphones, well, Jenny, you already said, what does your smartphone do? It knows where I am. It knows where you are. So if we're talking about something that's context aware, what do you think these ambient characteristics are for? Mm, smart technology. Smart technology. So let's put ST up here so that we know smart technology also means, what is our other word, Jane? Ambient. ambient. So smart technology is ambient, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So we know that smart technology knows where you are. Jane, do you know any of these other words? Personalized. Okay, what does personalized mean? Uh, I change it so it's something that I like. Oh, very good. So if I were to look at your guys' phones, let's see, uh, Jane, what kind of phone do you have? I have an S6. S6, David? 
No, three. Jenny? An iPhone. An iPhone. Okay, so we all have different phones, but let's say you guys all had the same phone. Would you guys have the same pictures on your phones? No. Do you guys have the same cases? No. So what did you do with your phones? Personalized. You personalized it. Very good. Okay. And so we'll learn a little bit more about that a little later. But now I want you guys to look down here. So we have smart technology. And what do you guys think smart technology is capable of? So what do we think capable of means? Jenny? Uh, what it can do. What can it do? So what do you guys think smart technology can do? I'm going to give you one minute to look through and choose what you guys think smart technology can do. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to ch put eyes on teachers so you can't change them. Let's see. Ooh, OK. So it looks like most people say this uh, change room temperature, recognize faces, and do housework. So all since all three of you guys said this, Jane, why did you say change room temperature? I think if you tell or if you have your smartphone, yeah. you can make your smartphone connect with your house oh. and make it change room temperature. And that's an example of what's our topic one more time? Smart technology. Smart, that's definitely smart technology. Jenny, why did you say recognize faces of, and identify criminals? Uh, we have smart CCTVs now mm. that recognize faces and definitely. bad people. Definitely. Do you think Chungdam CCTV can do that? No. No? no? Oh, okay, we don't have smart technology here? Oh, okay, no. maybe we'll get some <laughs> soon. David, why did you say do housework? Uh, they have those Roombas. Oh, what does the Roomba do? This goes around and cleans your floor for you. Ah, very cool. Definitely smart technology. Do, would you, do you want a Roomba, David? Or do you have a Roomba? Uh, yes. You do? Oh, so do you, you don't have to clean your own house? Nope. You are so lucky. Okay, so let's take a look at one more question. So, David, can you read this question down here? Uh, what are some positive or negative aspects of smart technology? Okay, so what are some positive things about smart technology? Jane. Uh, Jane. It makes life easier. Easier. Life easier. Jenny, what about you? Um, I think we could get a lot of information Info. using smart technology. I agree with you. And David, what do you think are some positive things? Uh, very useful. Useful. Awesome. Let's think about the other side. What could be negative about smart technology? Jenny? I think people can get lazy. Oh, okay. So maybe if we had a Roomba and we use the Roomba to clean our house and then the Roomba breaks, will you want to clean your house? No. No. Roomba, please just do it for me. Okay, so lazy. Jane, what about you? It's expensive. Ex that's true. Expensive. And David, what do you think could be a, a negative thing? Uh, I was going to say expensive. Expensive? Well, let's take a look at this picture. What happened to this phone? It broke. Oh. It's broken. So let's say you go to use your smart technology and it breaks. Is it so smart anymore? No. no. Okay, so that could be another negative thing. So let's go ahead and move on to our next one. 